Hi guys, Dare H here from the Hobby Butterflies. Today we're going to be working on the store only Ixion Hale model. If you've seen our video review that's come out earlier this week, you'll see that we have mixed reviews on this. Some of the detailing seems a little softer than perhaps we might like. But one thing we talked about was the conversion possibilities, the image of which I'll put up down here. The conversion in question is using one of the plastic shields from the Horus Heresy Burning Up Prospero box. I've not used any of the custodian guard from this yet, but I imagine I'll be using the two sprues of five that I have to have one unit with the Guardian Spears and one with the, uh, the Sentinel War Blades. The plastic shields in question are here on the back. They have the hand moulded to the holder, and interestingly, they come almost complete, but do require you to use the small studs, which are here. Small jewels to put in the middle of the shield. Now one thing I noticed was that Ixion Hale's left arm ends at the wrist, and the, he and the hand that should go on there is holding a Ixion Hale's helmet. My plan will be to magnetize this joint with a very small magnet in the hand and a small magnet in the wrist and then try and use the shield from one of the guard to make a magnetized option with Ixion Hale, one with shield and halberd and one with the halberd and the standard pose holding the helmet. So I'll go and do a bit of work on that guys and we'll see you soon. So, 10 or 15 minutes with the arm, shield and head combination. The smallest magnet I have is exactly the size of the end of this arm. So what we've done instead is I've put in a small piece of 1mm wire and then the shield and the helmet on each of the hands have got a small hole. The idea being that hopefully this will be a snug enough fit to hold on, it does seem to be, to allow the hand holding the helmet and the hand holding the shield to stay attached well enough to make this conversion really work. We'll do a bit more work guys, we'll show you Ixion on Hale when he's nearly finished. So guys, after about 45 minutes we've got some progress. So I've gone a little bit mad and decided to pin the right arm as well. So we have the standard halberd that we started with. We have one of the spare custodian guard spears. And we even have one of the swords from the same plastic range that fits in quite nicely course then allowing the full range of character customization with the shield straight back to the original. So I'm pretty happy with that guys. I'm going to spend a few more minutes now putting the last bits and bobs on and then next inhales built. This afternoon I'm going to be building the Legio Custodes Aquilon Terminators with Infernus Fire Pikes. We did an un unboxing with these with Brother Handro the other day. Fantastic kit from the looks of it. Really, really sharp details and a helpful instruction manual so that I don't get it too wrong on my first pass. So we'll, uh, I'll go to the workbench, I'll start and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we get from there. So we're back with the Legio Custodes Aquilon Terminators with the Infernus Fire Packs and we have the first one built. So as you can see these guys are very big models compared with Ixion Hale they stand a little bit taller but in terms of presence these guys are really bulky. It's a beautiful kit, some really nice sharp details. 
pads go on very nicely, the claws are very well sculpted and those fire pikes, as we talked about in our previous video, the fire pikes are absolutely beautiful. The Misericordia is a little bit tricky to glue on whereas the rest of the parts have a uh, have either a line or a ridge or something to clip onto that uh, seems to be a bit more freeform but it goes on easily enough. The main problem we seem to have guys is on the back of the model just below the uh, just below the power plant and above the vents there is a bit of a, a gap there I'll show you this in close up here I think a little bit of liquid green stuff may well fill this it may well be that this disappears with uh, the first coat of paint guys so other than that one tiny piece these are really nice models so I'll go back and I'll build the other two so here we are guys we have got three finished Aquilon Terminators for the Legio Custodes. The parts are pretty much interchangeable. There are three variants of the torso, three variants of the tacit plate. The Misericordias are a little bit difficult to get into place. And we have three different options for the Solarite Power Talons. We have two with open fists, which I'll show on, the, uh, on some still images. And we have one with a closed fist. These guys are pretty poseable. I have two in a, a firing position and one looking to the opposite direction. The plumes fit in very well in the small uh, small hole at the back. The only disappointment with these guys is that above the vents and below the power pack there is a bit of a gap in the mould and that's consistent across the three. And one of them particularly is quite a large gap. Nothing that a bit of green stuff won't fill and really it's the only seam on these models that's visible once they're built. So overall guys, a lovely set of models. I'll do a few still images of these. I'll do a still image with them, with Ixion Hale as well. So guys, these are a fantastic kit. Really enjoyed making these. If you're in any doubt about the quality of the kit, go ahead and pick up a set of these guys. They uh, they make a really nice model. I'm very tempted to buy the set with the bolters and the Adrathic Destructors, so there's a bit of variability. But I'll uh, I'll get these primed, guys, and then you might see another video showing these nearly completed. Hope you're enjoying these videos, guys. We'll leave it there. Thanks.